Hello everybody, Johnny Blaze back with you again, and I'm going to show you something really cool that you can now do with your Wii U if you're on 532, 510, I believe, and 500, and that is you can run now run full Wii U games from your SD card. No, it's not bullshit, it's not one of those sign up for a survey to get free games type of things, it's real. It's called, obviously you can see it by the SD card, Loading. I don't know why the hell they called it that, but whatever. Now, I'm going to show you the system part of it in a little bit, but first we have to set up. Now, it's a web-based exploit, so there's no nothing you need to download. You just need to download onto the SD card. You just need to download it to the system from the web every time you need to use it, which is a pain in the butt, but... If you remember the early um, 9.2 exploit on the 3DS, you're more than familiar with a web exploit. Now, if you remember several, I think it was about a year back, I believe, uh, they found an exploit in the browser of the Wii U, and finally something happened out of it. Um, I'm lucky enough to have a Wii U here with 532 on it. I just picked it up. Um got rid of my old Wii U just to it's just to do this because there's no sense having two of them and you can play current games anything that's almost anything that's out there you can play with a few exceptions and you know if you have Smash Brothers Wii U it, you can use one or the other now it uses two methods it uses Smash Brothers for the, which for which is the disc and that has the better compatibility or you can use Me Maker. Most games Me Maker will actually work, and you don't need Smash. So if you don't have Smash, don't worry. You can play most of these games. Now, what we're going to do first is we're going to set up the SD card. Now, currently it's at 4.0. Um, the 4.1 is unofficial, and they only fix a couple things. Now, as you can see, you need an SD card. You can either use a big SD card like this one. Um, make sure it's a class 10 at least like the ultra cards are the best because I tried using a class 4 and the loading times were atrocious So you're gonna want to use an ultra SD card with a class of at least 10 because remember you're emulating a blu-ray drive here so What we're going to do now. There's I'm going to teach you how to you know extract your games later on but you know, obviously you're going to find two things on the internet. You're going to find a WUD file, which is a Wii U disk file. And you're also going to find people who have already extracted it and it's ready to go on the SD card. I'm going to show you that first because I have more extracted so first games of all, than not. What you're going to want to do, I had to sneeze for real quick. Uh, for what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to create a directory on the main SD card on the root of it called Wii U, just like that then you're going to make a directory called games. Do not make a saves folder. You don't need to worry about that because um, right now it makes the saves for you automatically. And I've already obviously used this before so this way I can run it through you. It's not something that we're doing for the first time because for an exploit like this I want to make sure I had everything down pat before I wound up doing anything. Now, I will also say that certain games need earlier versions of loading. Yeah, um, so there's an official compatibility list. I'm going to link to it in the, vi in the video. Not as an annotation because those are fucking annoying. I'm going to link to it in the description, so just use that. Um, for example, Batman Arkham City Armored Edition. This is the U.S. version. It actually works only with Lodeen 3.0 and Smash. Any other one will return a DSi exception error. So if it runs a DSi exception error, you're most likely doing it wrong. Now, for games, we're just going to go to... I have them on... I don't have an external drive just for them yet because I just started. I'm going to go loading games. Now, I find it best... I'm in the U.S., I find it best to actually label um, what, you know, if it's out of region. So, obviously, Assassin's Creed is out of region. So is Deuce X. So is Devil's Third. Um, because this way, if you, certain games need updates to run, and also when you're getting those updates, certain games allow you to use updates. 
um, if you're going to use those updates, you need to know what region they're from. And I'll show you how to do that later as well. Um, and this is going to be in pieces, not all at once, not, you know, it's going to be out of order. Not to you guys, you're going to see it in order, but it's going to be out of order um, when I'm shooting it, so don't mind it. So, for example, we're going to take Assassin's Creed. Now you need three folders for this. You need code, content, and meta. A lot of times you won't. You only need these two folders. Um, I prefer having the meta file because the XML folders are in there. You know, oh, excuse me, they're in code, but meta, you know, helps to have that. I found it helps the games run better. So we're going to drag this, and we're going to drop it to the SD card. We're going to let this run. Of course, while that's running, I'm going to show you something else. Now, as you can see, this is an update. I'm going to show you exactly how I did the update. Oh, crap. I'm going to delete this folder and show you how I did the update exactly. Now, this is for going to be for a different game because I just did this. Now, what you'll need is NUS Grabber. Um, I, don't per I don't recommend the GUI. I really don't. So, for example, you also need a folder, a file called C Decrypt, and you need your common key, and that can be found on the internet easily. Uh, you need to make it a text file and change it into a binary file. I might just say fuck it and put that up. I'm not sure yet. So, but you definitely need your file key, you know, your common key for your system. Common key is easily found. Um, if not, I'll just put it up. What the hell? I don't. I have no idea what I'm going to do yet. Um, you're going to. You're going to now. Best thing to do for this one is to right shift and open command window. Now you're going to do nus grabber. Shit. Why this isn't working? Okay, there we go. Now you need to do NUS Grabber. I'm doing this with one hand, don't mind me. Dot exe, and then the type the update you need to download. Up, they all start with 00500E. Now, that's the up. That's always the update start. What you'll need to do is you'll need to go to the title database which is at weubrew.org and then go to eShop title updates and of course you're going to want to go down the list we're going to download an update for Injustice Gods Among Us because the European ver any version requires version 16 to load so you see here Version 16, European. So we're going to do that. So we're going to go to... So we're going to remember those... So it's always this. Remember those last numbers. So... We're going to go to... We're going to mem, mem, there's no dash for this, by the way. I should mention that. So it's 01... I mean, excuse me. 1011... One seven zero zero, and as you can see, it's starting to download. This might take a while. And of course, you're seeing how that's being done now. It does take a while, folks, depending on how how large the update is. You've obviously seen how it works on the Wii U. 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to this when it's done and all right, I'm gonna show, you, show you how to do two things in this video in this portion of the video we have our update right here as you can see it's a bunch of files that we really can't use but we're gonna change that what you'll need to do is take C decrypt of course you have your common key I'm gonna include this in the video in the description I'm gonna upload it copy that we're gonna paste into the folder We're going to click on run. As you can see, it's, it's converting all those app files that you see there to actual files we can use. And it does take a while depending on the size of the update. So we're going to come back to this and we're going to come back in a minute. Now the update is over and what you should have now are three folders. Code, Content, and Meta. I use all three just in case. But I'm going to show you what a different game and the reason for this is simple. Because with this game, Tech and Tag Tournament Wii U Edition, uh, you need the version 16 update for it to work. Or excuse me, the version 32 for it to work. And sometimes you won't always get a content folder. Sometimes you'll just get these two. But it is required for the game to run. So I'm going to show you how to update your game right now. So what we're going to do is copy... We're going to get it, go to Games, Tech and Tag Tournament Wii U Edition. And we're going to just copy and paste. And that's all you have to do. It's that simple. All you got to do is copy and paste. And just like that, your game is updated. Now, I'm also going to show you how to extract a game. And for this one, we're going to use the pow Epic Mickey, the power of two. It's supposed to come in a WUD file. Now, we're going to go to the NFO because this is really important. It's either the NFO or in certain scene releases, it's a, key, it's, a, it's a key file that you need to open. Now, we need this title key or TK. And this is really important. I'm going to copy that. Now, under you, Wizard, we have Title Key. I can't supply that in this because the Title Key is going to vary for each game. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to paste right, and that's the Title Key for the game we're about to extract. Now, to extract it, I use you, Wizard, because it's the easiest thing to use. Disk use too complicated. Now we're going to open Wii U game. We're going to go to the drive that it's in, which is J, Epic Mickey, WUD file. And a lot of times it'll have a description, things like that. You can choose to show the full cover if you want to. But some game, a lot of games doesn't have it. Now, what you're going to do is you need to import the title key itself and for that we're going to go back to where we were which is you wizard title key and if it's correct you'll see verify is correct by SHA1 you won't always get this if it's a newer game we'll say no SHA1 available but rest assured if it comes with the NFO or comes in the key file it's the correct one so we're going to extract it to you wizard and this is the longest part it takes a long time to extract but as you can see it's starting to extract now one more thing before we show you how to load the games um, look at the loading compatibility list because sometimes you'll need to update your file before you play it Sometimes you'll need to delete the certain files like 
for example, for Transforms, that's the same problem as Epic Mickey. You need to delete this RPL from the code folder. So, that's basically it. Now we're going to show you how to put games on your Wii U to start it up. Okay, here is the trusty old Wii U. It's on 532. And now we're going to boot up loading. So we're going to start it up. This may take a couple attempts. And of course there's a very good reason for it, obviously. You know, it's, it's a web exploit, so it's still a little buggy. Of course, you can see over here that X means it, it tried to download a system update but couldn't because we used OpenDNS. First, we're going to go to the web browser. And the best thing to do is to go to the site that I showed you earlier, exploit.weubrew.net. Save that. First, you're going to want to go to the loading kernel. For 532. You can also do this, I believe, if you're on 510 and 500. And just my luck, race attack failed. Please enter the system settings. You're going to get that quite a bit. Don't let it discourage you. I noticed it also happens quite a bit after it tried to download something and didn't. Because since you have the eShop locked, what you need to do is get out. Because you have the eShop blocked, it's not going to work. Now, I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but I actually have Smash in there. I mean, you can run it through Meme Maker on its own, but it's better to have ultimate compatibility. You know, and if we get the best compatibility, there's that's why they still have the different versions of loading on there, because certain ones work with older versions. As Batman Arkham, or Arkham City does. I'm going to try this again. There's absolutely nothing I can do to fix that part, guys. you got to keep doing this. I mean, it's it sucks, but what can you do? We'll get it eventually. Unfortunately, this is what happens. You don't need to, at first I was turning the system off, but you really don't need to do that. Wish I knew how to explain it better, but I don't. Because you need to download the kernel first. It's the only way you're going to play it. Apparently they ported it to 410 too. I didn't realize that. Yes folks, it's just like Final. that. So we finally got this to work. We're going to go back to the internet browser. We're going to go to loading version 4 because I usually use that. That's the last official release. It's going to press A. And yes, you can use virtual console games on here. Now, sir, you know, I'd refer to the official compatibility list, which I'm going to put in the description of this video. And you press A for Smash Brothers U mode, which is disc mode, which has better compatibility. And then X for Me Maker mode. A lot of times you're just going to go to Me Maker. But, uh, like for example, this is fully updated Mario Kart 8, so you're going to want to go to Smash Brothers for that. Let's go to one that we know is going to work. And that, it, and of course, I also NES Remix is also going to work. Just on Meme Maker, but not on Smash. Excuse me. So let's go to a game that we know is going to work for sure. Press A. Okay, we're 
Mars X. That's Super Mario Brothers U. Believe me, it took a while. It took about 20 minutes. Almost. The longest ever taken, but it varies. But as you can see, it works. These certain games also, like, if it has a lot of files, it stutters. So Bayonetta 2 stutters, Wonderful 101 stutters. I'm trying to get better rips of it. As you can see, there's no stuttering in games like this. doing it one-handed and I died so but as you can see loading does work when it wants to and now I'm going to show you something even more incredible stick around one thing I may fail to mention is that if you want to change your game you just exit out with like they're like you regularly do and then go back to me maker Pick your game again, and a lot of the virtual game console games I didn't test yet. But how would it? We'll go with one of them to test to show you that virtual console games, in fact, do work on here. Now, for certain games, it's not uncommon to see a long loading screen. Obviously, this one isn't one of them. Like, for example, in Justice, you'll see a long loading screen. The, the worst is Wonderful 101, and that takes about 20 minutes to load on its own. But as you can see, it's a full virtual console game. Oh, sure, I got stuck. All right. You see, it's a full virtual console game. And I said I have something neat to show you, and I do. Let me go back to this menu. Me Maker again. This is what I'm going to show you because I know this works. It has not been released on the virtual console yet, ever, but thanks to Lodeen and being able to play virtual console, obviously you can see it's playing. Now, much like the Injex on the original Wii, you can play Injex on your virtual console for your Wii U. I'm going to show you a uh, battle because I can actually... I think I have one saved. Yeah, I do. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, I don't. Damn it. <clears throat> That's why I forgot I didn't save on here yet. I just turned it off. So we're just going to rock. Rental only, obviously. Oh, 
stormy I actually poured into. Star, you or storm me? Whichever one has thunderbolt. There we go. Choose. Yeah, it's funny. I forgot for Pokemon Stadium, it's always best to have those Pokemon that have multiple moves because just because the gym leader has the same Pokemon doesn't always mean that. Yes. Just it doesn't always mean that the trainers above, uh, below him are going to. So. It's always best to find rental Pokemon, especially if you're doing rental Pokemon. It's always best to find those Pokemon that actually have moves that are different. I'm going to show you a sample battle. I'm not going to do the whole thing now. Let me see if I can go over here. Ah. Of course, use the right analog stick for the C buttons. This will be over quick. use a stick but at the same time it sucks because you mean to do one move and you don't do, you don't wind up doing it you can harden up all you want I'm still gonna beat you because remember B drill is a poison type so psychic beats poison uh, what do you think I'm gonna hold my breath so his phone doesn't fuck up. Oh, oh this is gonna be easy. I just give it a slight nudge so it doesn't over read it. As you can see, that is loading on the Wii U. It's a pain in the butt to get to work, but once you do, 
It's pretty cool. Although there is an iOS U exploit going out for those that are on 550 and lower. So be prepared for that if you can't find a 532 and, and lower Wii U. Hopefully it'll be a better exploit. You have EMU NAND, the whole nine yards. Much like you have on the 3DS now. So, this is Johnny Blaze. Until next time, signing off.